Hey YouTube and welcome to the vlog. Today we thought we'd do something slightly different. Um, a lot of people new to the hobby, especially Sambo's, always ask us about sex in Sambo's uh, and how it's done. Obviously there's a few different techniques than how we would do it normally with royals and stuff like that. So I just thought I'd bang a couple out, sort of give you a little description. Uh, I've got Lance here today to give me a hand and then hopefully uh, it'll lighten the load and you can work things out yourself. Um, any questions or comments you have, just drop them down below um, and I'll try and answer them as we go through the video. Um, any further questions, just hit me up as, as always on Facebook or even on uh, YouTube on the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, keeps us all going and keeps us there. Okay, right. We'll start off um, with uh, the easiest thing out of uh, Sambo's really and that is down to the adults. So we will start with an adult for you and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the first one you're seeing here is a adult snow. Now, as you can see, this is a full size adult male Samboa. Now, the reason um, it's quite simple to work an adult out is simply because Samboas are sexually dysmorphic. So you will always tell an adult male to an adult female simply be due to size males will only usually grow to around 18 inches as a maximum so these guys are pretty much full size and um, this guy is around four years five years old now um so he's a, a full adult uh, this is the little man that has sired the last two years running for us uh, if i flip his tail over you can very simply see a great big long elongated tail um it's not dumping in at any time it's one straight perfect line now i always say the best way to look at males is simply especially sub adults and adults is the finger and thumb now it's something that i've sort of learnt myself and the reason being is a male if you look simply looks like a finger one straight continuous line look at you cutie hey everybody now with females you'll notice once i get it out in the moment that females stump in very quickly and they look like a thumb so we'll just put this little boy back go on little man there you go there you go little man you can leave it there lance so i can grab her from there hey lady somebody's happy oh the little lady's in shit that's why right don't you borrow back under me little lady all right so just pop her down a second while i get her properly as you can see by this little girl well little she's a large amount bigger and as i say she's a girl she's a little female now this is again the one that has uh, gave us the litters for the last two years running now now this little girl Hetty is an albino het annery. So put to the snow gives you either snows or albino het anneries or annery het albinos. Um, we haven't eaten any annery het albinos for the last two seasons, so we will be trying to something different. But as you can see, immediately by turning her over, that it looks dramatically like a thumb. As from the knuckle goes in very quickly to the tip so you can see straight away with an adult you will automatically get that narrow into the tip with a male it will be one continuous straight line so thumb for female finger for male okay on to the next i'll bring you out some sub adults now um with the sub adults they're slightly different um i tend to be able to still use that same sort of um method um, so you're still able to actually go ahead and uh, use the thumb and finger thumb and finger method. Um, so you'll start to notice with the females and the males how we do that as well. Now let's get this little girl out. Now this girl can be a little bit feisty at times, so we'll see how she goes today. Go on, prisoners. There we go, little lady. All right. See if she takes me today. Whether she's going to be a good girl. Now, as I say again, flipping her over straight away you can see a nice pointy thumb so again this is a sub adult female so you could quite easily and quite simply confuse this for an adult male simply because the size is there so this is why it's 
quite important to actually be able to work out what the tiles look like. Um, there is another method that you can use when they're younger, which I will come on to when I go to the babies. I don't find it as successful with the adults or sub-adults. So I find this method the best method um, for adults and sub-adults. So as I say, straight into a point, that is a female. And what a beautiful girl she is. Absolute beauty. The other dome across this girl is she's absolutely stunning. The mother is above and also mother to the other litter that we had this season. This girl will be trying this year. She's just over 400 gram now, so we will be trying her. Okay, sweetheart. She wants to go back in. Yeah. Now she can't get her back in. Won't come out. Now she won't go back in. Okay. Right. On to the next one. Right. Well, we'll get you out now. By the way, Lance, that's water in, mate. Oh. Good lad. So we will get you out now a sub-adult male um, and show you the dramatic difference uh, in those. If you want to get a um, banana out, mate, that should uh, give us... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the lad. Okay, right. Yeah, you can see him. I see a tail. Where's the head? <clears throat> okay. Now, again, this boy can be a little flighty at times. Oh, I smell. Come on. Oh, it's only puppy. It's one puppy. It stinkies. All right. So, as you can see, this is a, a well, sub-adult, should I say, sub-adult male. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I presume they call this, I, I just call them a high-expression um, albino. Um, some people call them like a nuclear um, because the orange is so, so bright. Um this boy will be bred this year, so hopefully we saw some absolutely stunning babies from this boy. So straight away into a finger. Then you flip it over. There you go. See? Straight away, very noticeable, stubby, straight finger. Okay. So as I say, with the males, um, sorry, with the adults and the sub-adults, it is very simple and easy technique to do. Okay. He's running away again. Get the little man back in. Yeah, just slip him in. There we go. You bring his water tub down just a little bit as well, Lance. It's slid up. You managed to shimmy it up the one end. There we go. That'll do. Good lad, that'll do. You'll, uh, you'll only move it around again anyway, so. Don't go that water end. Okay. Yeah. They're cooking the water the way they're going. It's not a nice bath. <laughs> Jacuzzi. Okay. So, right. Now, we are going to go on to um, a couple of uh, babies now. So, I'll let Lance go and get a couple of babies. Lance, one of each, please, mate. Um, yeah. Male and female. And while Lance is going to get that, um, I will talk to you that we do have um, a couple of the um, albino annery babies and also snow still available. Um, if anybody's looking to purchase those, those are still available. As I say, just hit me up on Facebook Messenger, uh, David Wilkes, um, hash, uh, Karma Homegrown Herbs. Um, if not, you can always look for my partner, Sarah Freeman, on there as well. Um, she's always able to uh, assist in any way possible as well. Um, this season, we have got a few different ones we will be breeding as well. Um, we will be going for the roughs again. Uh, there may be a few for sale this year. Um, we kept everything back last year. So um, rough scale-wise, there was nothing for sale. But as I say, this year there will be um, once we start pairing up. Um, we're just waiting for Lance to obviously come back with a couple of the uh, babies. Okay, so... Right. Lance, will you just uh, hold this, mate? Yeah, I'm going to need two off, hands right? for this one. No, you need to hold the camera, Lance. Oh, hold the camera. Yeah, yeah, please. I need to hold hands for this one. Right. Right. There we go. Little one. Now, this isn't sort of really a, a visual way of showing you. Um, it is more of a um, talking technique. Uh, where the vent is itself, or the cloaca, whichever one you're going to say, um, where the cloaca is itself. I mean, you can, I won't say that you can't, you can pop these guys. Um, some will pop really easily, um, as you can see. But, um, some are a little bit finicky. 
just get this guy to focus in somehow. Come on, focus in. Where are we? Wakey, wakey. So bear with us, guys. It's our first time live, so we've uh, something very new to us. Yeah, so we're awake now. Right, so as I say, where the vent is itself, what you want to be doing is just getting your thumb very gently from the vent down to the tip of the tail. You just want to be rubbing your thumb and you actually feel two little pops like grit, sort of like grit. Pop, pop. Yeah, so that's all you're feeling for. Pop, pop. You can probably slightly see it on the video um, that it just pops. Now, those are the hemipenes. It's that simple. If you run down and you feel those pops, those are hemipenes. Um, now, these one, this little lad here, is a male, a little boy. You can, to an extent, if you've got a keen eye, still see that that is a male with that long, elongated, finger-type tail. Um, it's a little harder as their babies to set. So we always try... With the popping method, um, with sorry, with the pipping network, because um, I just find thumbing it like that's a little easier. Um, if you feel that grit, then you know you've got a male. Right. I'll just show you the female. Um, obviously, it's not sort of much showing, it's more of just telling. Um, but so you've got an idea. Now, my little one. It's sweet as pie. All right. So, as I say, with the females, now, I'll sort of try and show you the slight difference in the tails. There's not a massive difference. Um, but as I, as I say to you, this is why you can get confused. See, this still looks male-ish. So it's still got a very long nip tail. It's only if you take to notice that it still tapers in very quickly. So that's what makes you notice that it's more of a female because it tapers in quite quickly. Um, and again, if we then take it over, thumb it a little tiny bit, and gently rub down, there is literally no grit. So it's flush, it's smooth, it's soft. You're just grabbing and very gently rubbing over. You're not doing it hard, um, as gentle as you would for popping it. Um, as I say, you can with these guys if you very gentle pop. Um, I was having a poo, lovely. Just what you want. But yeah, they're, they are just as easy just to gently rub over and pop them. Um, sorry, to thumb them and feel for that grit. So guys, I hope that helps you out just a little tiny bit um, and gives you more of an idea on how to sex them. Um, as a, to be fair, nearly every single person that I have that wants a Kenyan, always their first question is how to sex them. Um, so obviously I've done this little video just to try and help with that. Um, so I kind of help that gives you an idea and helps you along with that process. Um, any questions, comments, anything, drop them down below. Don't forget, don't worry about any time of day, night, evening. I'm always here. Sarah's always here. Even the kids are always here. Um, if we can help, we'll help. Um, we We've always said we like to teach, not preach, and I live and dream that. At the end of the day, I don't know everything, and I don't claim to know everything. I'm learning absolutely every day, and I learn along with you guys. Anything that I learn, I will always pass along to you. Um, and I think in that way, it'll always give us a fantastic hobby, um, and I just want everyone to be the same. So as always, guys, I will want you to literally always think about people care about people and spend that time don't just sit there and if somebody's getting something wrong just sit there and bully them and poke them and knock fun at them on facebook and especially like forums and all that sort of stuff sit there giving them abuse try and pm give them a little pm and just sit there and say look do you need that bit of advice give them that little bit of help and a push towards the right way if they don't take that advice and they still go down the path of destruction then let it be let it be you've tried that's all you can do and in your heart you know then you've tried okay so as always guys let's teach not preach take care and as always just be great be awesome take care